Hello, welcome back to Gordon's channel. We've come to lesson 10 of our to-do list app series. And in this lesson, we will learn the UU ID, which is how to make the ID unique. And I have uh, this UU ID generator in my solo learn code. So I will put this link in my description to this video. And here we can copy this source code here into our web page so we can copy it here and paste it here and now this function underscore uuid it will generate a return a standardized unique id every time so we can copy this function name and then go to the add entry function which is where we will generate the new object id so we go to here in the add entry, we have the object and the ID instead of to do list dot link, we will put underscore UUID and then the paraphrase, paraphrase to call it. So let's try it. So if we go to our web page and then uh, use the inspect to open the console and go to application, local storage. Now, if we have some to do list item, to do list one category, if we uh, add a new entry it has a random long string which is as the id and if we have it again so it will generate another random id which is long and it can prevent the duplicate so we won't be deleting the wrong entries so this is the uuid so this is how to use uuid but remember our focus is always on learning so let's try to understand what this code is doing. So we have data now, performance dot now, and a string replace and some regular expression. And then we have the callback function. In the callback function, we have master random, and then we have the master floor, and we have this two string and with the argument 16. So we will go through all of this. So first of all, let's go through the string dot prototype replace. So here I will put it in the uh, my file. I will test it here. So let's say if now we have a string, let's call it string one, and let's say it is uh, this is uh, a demo, okay, and then I will use the replacer function. So let re string two be string one dot replace. It is a string method and it assess two arguments. The first one can be a string. So uh, for example, is is what I want to replace and I want to replace it with ARE. All right, so let's console log it. Console log the string two. If I console log it, it will replace the first is into ARE. So console log, you see it becomes THARE is a demo because it is replacing the first match and what about if we want to replace not only the first match but all the match so here we will need to do a regular expression regular expression one b new regular expression so this is the regular expression constructor and we will put the string we want to replace which is is and we will put a flag which is g which means globally so every match will be replaced and now we will put this regular expression here now you can see that we have replaced all the is into ARE because this regular expression we have the global fact and here in the generator code you can see that it has this slash this means that it is a uh, another way to create a regular expression without making the constructor so here instead of this constructor it is using two steps slash slash g so here he is putting is here so is is the string we want to replace and this g is the global fact so if we run it it will have the same result as this regular expression and apart from this we can instead of putting a string as the second argument we can put 
put a callback function here. So for example, this is the callback function. And then we can say uh, return a string. And we have the same idea. But if we say uh, return the another, and it will be a number, Mr. Random. Okay, maybe return a number, then it will replace the is with a random number. So this is the replace with regular expression and callback function. So this is the first learning objective of today. And the second one is number dot to string with 16. So here, if we go to the console, and if we have a number, for example, 10, if we say to string 16, it will convert the number into a has a decimal number. So uh, for everything in the has a decimal digit system, for everything greater than 9, it will be a English letter. So for example, 11 will be B. All right. 11 will be B. And if we have uh, 255, if we are uh, using the color codes very uh, RGB code very frequently, we will know that it is FF. So 16 and 16 times 15. So 255 is FF. So this is the number dot to string with the 16 as argument. And apart from 16, we can also put other number. For example, we can say 9 to string. If we put 2 there, it will be binary number. 101 is the binary number for 9. All right, so we can have different number here. And the third learning objective today is the master random. So master random is to generate a random number. So if I say dot random, it is a function. So we use the paraphrase call it. If we run it, it will be a long number between zero and one. And if we call it again, every time we call it, it will generate a different number. So this is master random. And then we have master four here, which means rounding it down. So for example, if we have uh, master four, if we have one point master four, one point two, it will be run down to one. If we have master four, uh, one point nine, it will also run down to one. So this is rounding down, always rounding down. And the next learning objective is dates.now and performance.now. So for dates.now, it is returning a number, dates.now, and it will return this number representing the current time. And if we run it again, we will see it a slightly larger number. You see, this one is slightly larger because it has passed about one second since I last run it. Okay. So uh, each number is a millisecond, okay? And then if we use performance.now, performance.now, this is another number which is uh, related to how long we have run this program. So if you run it again, we can see that it is slightly larger than previous one. And this digit, the, the one is also in millisecond. So each 1,000 is one second. So we can say performance turnout is used in this way. And it has a larger precision than date turnout. So here we can understand this UUID function. So it is generating the date turnout and then generating, adding the number with performance turnout. And then it will uh, follow this format and then replace it with the uh, some random number. Uh, has a decimal random number. And why why do this program do this? We can go to the reference, which is I am referring. I have put it in the result. So here, uh, it is in Chinese, but uh, let me explain it a little bit. So UUID it stands for the Universally Unique Identifier. So it has a standardized format. It must be a five group of uh, digits, which are, has a decimal digits. And this one must be four. And this one is a chat digit. So that's why they have x, 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 x but this one being four and this one being y. And here, uh, this 
they have uh, discussed different way of generating the UUID and the method 1 method 2 both have some problem so method 3 is better and uh, why I credit this web page they have credit their own uh, reference which is here okay this one okay so uh, this web page uh, maker has two reference one is this one by buffer.com and another one is on the stack overflow and stack overflow they have the best answer making reference to buffer so it is still buffer and this one is buffers so it is uh, uh, by buffer here so she has this UUID function UUID v4 which is general basically what we have seen here so uh, it has the format and then use the replacer function with red gray expression and a uh, callback function to generate a random number and convert it into a hexadecimal so this is the UUID v4 and uh, uh, I want to highlight one more which is here and the uh, January 2020 update and there is a proposal linked so we click into it it said that this is a proposal of UUID to the TC49 which is the member to update the committee to update JavaScript so MS3 proposal JavaScript standard library UUID and this is proposal by this uh, free developer including Buffer and here they have this uh, proposal because UUID is very heavily used because it is unique identifier and prevents the data collision in the data database so here it said that on the npm module it has very high monthly larger monthly download so if we click into it then go to the npm website go to this uid module web page and we can see the download even this week it has already has uh, 31 million downloads so it is commonly used in the back end with node.js and here uh, the suggested uh, uh, function is here called random UUID random capital UUID so this function is what they are suggesting and when we call random UUID we will get this uh, UUID generated so of course if we copy this and put into our console now if we put into now we will get an error it is undefined now because it has not implemented yet it will it is a suggestion now but later in yes 2021 uh, 2022 maybe this will be standardized so at that time you don't have to bother this uh, co copying this source code into your program anymore you just can call this one random UUID by the time so this is my last learning objective which is a possible in future function called random UUID so this is not you uh, used now but it is a suggestion for the future so i hope you like this lesson and uh, if so please subscribe to my channel to support me and i look forward to seeing you in lesson 11 thank you bye bye